welcome to Wine Library TV. I am your host, Gary Vay, Nur Chuck, and this, my friends, is The Thunder Show, AKA the internet's most passionate wine program. Just looking over there, I was like, you know, it's Friday, the, should I, you know, should I, should I do the count? You know what, let's go. Just, you know, whatever. You know, whatever, turn on the lights. It's, it's long to do. Like, why not? All right. You know, do what you gotta do, Mom. Yeah. Laid back Friday couch. That's how we do. I know you want it. I was over there and I was like, oh, poor Randy. We had to sign for her and now it's off the show. Uh, so, Melbeck. As we continue the blind bags, the brown bags, um, on the show, so uh, let's see what we have here. It's been a pretty interesting week with brown bags. You know, first we had the uh, Sunday play, uh, Sunday play, the Sauvignon Blanc play. That was a crazy show. Lizzie Call talked about Sauvignon Blanc. I almost bet my career that it was New Zealand. It was California. Then we did the Pinots. I hated them both, rightfully so. It was part of my palate. Now we do the Malbecs. So it'll be interesting to see what happens here. Um, let's see what's going on with wine number one. Zoom on wine number one, Malbec, bam, boom. Let's go back to my room so we can be careful. Uh, give me the bucket, mutt, please. Some beautiful color, little snippy snip. Oof, Oak Monster City a little bit. A little oak coming through, thanks, mutt. It's a little full swatch. Um, little oak defied, a little oak defied. Let's give it a whirl. Just disjointed, kind of awkward. Good black fruit, I would give it that. But it's your classic kind of like, I don't know, like over fruity, over oaky Malbec that has real no, really no soul. It, it, you know, if that makes any sense. Just not feeling it, not loving it. Uh, not happy about it. All right. You know, I'm sorry, I'm like distracted because I'm gonna spill wine here. Uh, you know, just kind of like your your average blackberry Malbec that didn't have anything really going for it, a little over-oaked, you know, a little creaminess, no mid-palate whatsoever, the finish was soft, I don't see pairing with a lot of foods, drink by itself, no big deal, fine, a little prosciutto, you know, you could do a little bit of that, like hand, hand snacks. Um, just all in all though, just nothing to really talk about. As you can see, I was almost, literally, I don't know if you noticed, I was literally like bored. I was like not paying attention, didn't really care. It was just meh. At best. Wine number two. Let's see what's going on here. Sorry, I'm not. I know that this does this whole thing. Let's give it a sniffy sniff. Now, this has a little bit more of an interesting appeal on the nose. Um, I definitely get this whole, like, raspberry um, attack on the nose, which I think is quite pretty. A little tobacco, which is nice balance. Uh, very fresh. Let's give it a whirl. Good tannins, very dark, very deep. Um, good structure, all in all. Um, yeah, just put that down right there. Um, and uh, you know, all in all, thanks, Mom. All in all, uh, a little bit better of a wine. <laughs> Sorry, that's what happens on Fridays. You start getting distracted. All in all, a little bit more of an interesting wine. Um, you know, it's a little bit more of a medium body play. A little less Argentinian fruit. Um, more balance. A little more rustic. A little light. A little charcoaly. Um, all in all. It's okay, but I'm not gonna love the, am I wrong? Sauvignon Blanc said I didn't rate high. Pinot's I hated. I don't think the Malbecs are doing that well either. The winner, the second wine, I scored 87 plus points at $15. I thought it was pretty okay, but I, 
I would not recommend one brown bag wine for the last three shows. Yep, it's a Cacor. I told you it was a little less Argentinian-like. Uh, Chateau de Caru, uh, 2005 Cacor, 15 bucks. So I'm kind of glad it was in that right range. Nice wine, nothing too shabby. And this will be from Argentina and 10 bucks. I scored in the 82. And from Mendoza, Argentina, the Crios, 2008, 12 bucks, uh, 90 points, Jay Miller. Clearly, a little bit of a difference of opinion between him and I on that. I do, I do just, I just, I, I just do not, I just do not see how you can score that wine, 90 points. I was kind of nice at 82, um, but, you know. What a weird week. The brown bags did not bring any thunder to me. I apologize. I'm sorry. The three straight shows where I pissed on the wine's mod. This is not a... It's not good. Um, I apologize. I'm really, really sorry, guys. I, uh, I'm sorry. There's nothing really else to say. I hope you have a great weekend. Um... Uh, question of the day. You know... What's your favorite Malbec? You, with a little bit of me, we're changing the wine world. <laughs> Whether the wines like it or not.